Hey guys, good morning. So, I have tried to go live. This is the fourth time. So, Facebook is acting really weird today. So, hopefully this works. I tried to hashtag this as the glitter drawers um, session one. Uh, hopefully that worked. <laughs> hopefully. Um, let's see. I'm going to wait here just a couple seconds till I know that this is working right before we get going. Okay, I see people. I see Bernadette. Hey girl, how are you? Hat's crooked this morning. Okay. Glitter drawers. So, if you guys saw the video, when we delivered the desk to Jennifer Allwood, the thing that like threw her over the edge was the glitter drawers. Hey girl, I, um, I'm good, Bernadette. I'm good. Sorry, I can't, the, it's so small that it's hard for me to read, so I have to like lean in. I obviously need to go get my eyes checked. So, the glitter drawers was like a huge hit with Jennifer, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys how I did it today. Now, of course, um, that was the first time I had done it. So this time around, I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit on the things that will make it easier uh, that I didn't think about the first time around, okay? So here's all the supplies that I have. Let me show you. You guys don't need to see me. You just need to see what I'm doing today. Um, I have shellac. I have glitter. Now, I want to show you that these are the big glitter, okay? So, the first time I tried to do this, I tried to do it with like the really fine, fine glitter. It did not work. <laughs> it was an epic fail. I had to sand it off and start over. So, these, um, the big glitter is what you want, okay? I got it at Hobby Lobby. Hey, Malia. I know, right? This is uh, for the lady who was mean to me on my Facebook page once. I have Mod Podge. I have a stick to stir that up with. Um, and I have a brush and some sponge applicators, tape, and a paper plate. Okay, styrofoam plate. Uh, and a cup. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do... So these are the drawers that I'm gonna do. All right, so you're gonna notice that I'm keeping the drawer painted side out. I'm gonna work this direction. The first thing that I wanna do is um, tape it off. Let me find a can. Let me see if this will sit here. two cans. Okay, so I want to tape off um, this part here and this part here on the drawer, the edge, okay? First thing, turn off all the fans, right? Exactly, because this does make a mess. And the first time I did it, I had the drawers hanging over the edge of the table and all the glitter got on the floor. We're still cleaning up glitter, okay? It, it is, um, it's a mess. So, Now, the tape really is for keeping the Mod Podge off the drawer. Once you start to use the shellac, if you get glitter accidentally somewhere where you don't want the glitter, you can just sand it off. It comes off really easy, okay? Hey, Gina. G 
Gina, how's he feeling? So I'm going to tape off the inside edge. And it doesn't want to tape. I'm only gonna leave the tape on while the Mod Podge dries, okay? So these videos for this guys are gonna be, they're gonna be shorter, but there's gonna be more of them so that, you know, you guys get the whole process. Okay, and then I'm gonna tape off the back. going to flip it up. Let me move these out of the way. Um, you don't have to tape the bottom if you don't want to, but I taped it off on mine because I didn't want anything to be stuck on the bottom. Okay. Maybe, I think maybe if I move this a little bit, I can see you. Waiting to see surgery. Oh, no. Um, you know, I had total ankle reconstruction in uh, 2010. I woke up this morning and stepped out of bed and I have like, I have pins and plates and screws and all kinds of stuff in there. And um, I took one foot on the ground and then I, I looked at Doc, I said, it's gonna rain today, huh? Cause my ankle hurts. <laughs> all right, I'm getting out the Mod Podge. Now it's really important that you have the drawers sitting up like this because you want the glitter to sit flat while it dries, okay? So not hanging over the edge um, of anything. So you're gonna have to do one side at a time, which kind of sucks, but nothing that's super gorgeous like this is easy, right? Just gonna put some Mod Podge down in my cup. And then I like to start with a brush. Okay, so this is just a acrylic brush I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna start I like to start up here. So anywhere where there's a harsh line, just use your um, your brush to get in there first. And you you don't want this super thick. You want it to be thin. Okay. And then now that I've got that on, I'm just gonna drizzle this on. and then take a foam brush and smooth it out. Maybe more.
Okay, you're going to kind of freak out and think that there's not enough glue, and you and you you're gonna to want to instinctively put more glue on it. Don't don't do that because <laughs> it'll take longer to dry. Don't worry, it will stick. Okay, so now that we got that on, all right, you just take your glitter. This is where it gets really messy, and I like to start at the back. And you're just gonna pile it on. I mean, I'm talking pile it on, okay? I have a drop cloth over my table. The first time we did this, I did not have the drop cloth on, and um, it was uh, uh, horrible to try to get all the glitter off the table. So this time around, I can just. Um, roll this up and throw it away and all the glitter will be contained at least I hope probably not but okay so just make sure you've got even coverage and that's it you're literally just gonna walk away from this and leave this dry okay so you could set a couple of these out um, and um, so resist the urge to push it, to move it, to do anything with it. Just leave it right like this and let it dry for a couple hours, okay? All right? Okay, so that, I mean, this is, that is literally it for session one. Like, that's it, okay? I'm gonna keep working on the rest of them. Um, so just, I'm gonna leave this one sit. I'm gonna work on the, getting the rest of the sides done. Um, and then I will come back with you guys later on today, probably, I don't know what time. We got a lot of stuff that I need to get done today. So I, maybe afternoonish. Um, three o'clock maybe and then we'll start putting um, the shellac on the top so I'll show you guys how to do that I mean honestly it's super easy it's just super messy <laughs> so what are you you guys are all chatting away and like I feel like I'm out of the loop what do we got here um Let's see. Ouch. What are you, you guys talking about car accidents? Good morning, guys. Thank you all for the, all the new people. Like we are super excited to have you. So there's a lot of like OG gals in this group that um, we've been painting together for a long time, actually. like. A long time so um, we're super excited to get to know you guys so all right yeah this is one of my other um, shirts that Doc and Emily had made for me for Christmas the shut up and paint okay and and I'll tell you the story behind it one time on a live video on my page um, uh, apparently I was too chitty chatty and this lady got very impatient with me because she wanted to see me glaze a piece of furniture um, and she was like would you just be quiet and paint I don't ever remember if she actually said shut up but she was just like can you just be quiet and and do what you're doing and I was like oh no you didn't girl you're on my page <laughs> So I have decided that I'm just not going to be, I mean, I'm going to be nice, but not nice. Do you know what I mean? So when somebody like, so I shared, um, Gina's beautiful lagoon dresser and someone had to pipe up and say, it was beautiful. I'm not sure why you painted it or why she painted it. And I was like on her, like leave my page. I paint furniture that's what I do 
and you shouldn't be here if you don't like painting furniture. So I just replied to her and I was like, yeah, uh, do you see all those holes in that veneer? Like this piece of furniture wasn't in that good a shape before she started. So you know what I'm saying? It's on my page. You guys need to go find it <laughs> and reply back to her and, and tell her to go away. <laughs> Why is my hat crooked? Either I'm crooked or my hat's crooked. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna dry. And um, I'll see you guys back this afternoon. And we'll keep on trucking on it, okay? All right, see ya.